Oh my goodness, things look exactly as they did in the last video. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I'm doing two in a day again because I don't know. I have the live tomorrow, I guess. So I just, yeah, Joel's like, what? What? Why are you doing another one? I am. And what am I doing again? Burger Coops and Jello Printing Challenge. And today, this video is for day eight, and it is alcohol inks. Some people recommend you don't use them on your plate. I'm not sure exactly how Burgett's going to do it. I have used them on my plate before, so I'm not afraid. I'm not petrified. I will survive. So, I'm going to do a little of this. What is this? Sailboat Blue. I just grabbed, I wasn't even sure what I grabbed. Just grabbed some, and then I'm going to get that down. Now, if I go over that again, I'm going to wipe it right back up, so I don't want to do that. I never put it on after I put the paint on, though. I'll have to try that. Maybe that's maybe that's what she does. I don't know. All right. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. And it dries pretty fast, which is nice. I'm curious if I do this. Oh, I see some. That seems to be... Let's see what happens. All right, so that's kind of a green color. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, man. I've used these before. They've never smelled this strong before. <laughs> kind of funny. So, yes. The prompt is alcohol inks. And let's see how it turns out. And then... I might try it on top of the paint this next time. The backs of these aren't going to show if I'm putting them in the tag journal because part of it is that the tags kind of go back to back. Interesting. So you can see the side was the side of the green um, alcohol ink, which is cool. I like it. I've, I Like I said, I've played with them before. I, I really... You get some cool effects with them. You never know what you're going to get with them. But you do get some cool effects. Ooh, and that one, um, the, the stamp did go through some. So you can see that. And it helps pick up the other stuff that was there too sometimes. Or I guess that's the sailboat blue. So like if you have a lot of like gunk on your, on your thing, the alcohol ink kind of sticks to it, which is nice. Alright, I'm going to try... Um, on top of it because I have never tried on top of it so let's try it that's just pale blue craft smart and what I'm gonna do I think is I'm gonna do this again like I did I'm gonna do one side with one side without Yeah, and I finally, finally remembered to do that. Of course, then it's backwards, but oh well. Because if it's frontwards, then you put it on here, it's backwards. Then when you get it on your plate again, it's frontwards again. Make sense? All right, where'd that weird green color go? Okay. I can't, all right, I'm going to put you on pause while this dries. This really needs to dry. Yes, I was impatient, so I tried to take some of the wet paint off. There was a lot more wet paint on there than I realized. Alright, so I grabbed some eggplant. Eggplant. And I'm going to put that on there and get it in there really fast because it dries really fast. Dries a lot faster than um, paint. <laughs> Don't have a lot of time with the uh, alcohol inks. Let's see if I can get some green in there too, where I don't have the, where I don't have the, you know how you like go so long, you don't use these things and then you like use them so much that you run out of them pretty quickly if you're not careful. 
Now, let's see, we did the blue, and then we have the purple and the green. And, um, purple, green. I think I might do a brighter yellow than what I did before. Sunshine yellow. So, what I was trying here isn't really going to show what I was trying because I, uh, took so much of the paint off. I didn't know what you were talking about when you were saying eat the mashed potatoes. potatoes. No. I never got any scalloped potatoes. Did Joel just finish them? Yes. Uh, I'll make them again. And I'll make your own a whole... <laughs> What? So I didn't say what master potatoes. I would have said yes, eat that for dinner. But you said you wanted the fake mashed potatoes. I'm like, you never want fake mashed potatoes. I right, I was gonna use that. So funny. Well, you had the fr rest of the fries, so it's not like you had horrible stuff. They were eating leftovers for supper. And even though it is 11 o'clock at night, my son is eating his dinner, but that's because he was at uh, work. So he came home, showered, because, you know, come home late from work, then go the next morning to work. So, let's see, we have some blue. So, the purple and green, kind of, the purple ended up looking more brown, but, you know, you get definitely some nice grunge using the alcohol inks and that is probably why I like them but that did not pick up much I apparently don't know what I did there but it still looks cool let's see just want to do some pick oh let's see you know I have to use stream that is my teal that's the tealiest teal should I all right let's do a layer of the shallow. Only just enough so that it's going to actually dry in a normal amount of time. Joel, do you have enough to give him a bite or something? Yeah. Oh, does he not want one? Poor kid. Because he, let's see. Oh, his taste has been off. We don't know what's up with his taste. So, you know, it's taking him several days to eat the bison burger. We, everyone had two because we had bison burgers because, you know, who doesn't have bison burgers? Alright, I already, oh wait, where's, that's what I want. I'm going to do that and that and still do this. And there. Because that's fun. Any other textures I should add in there? Alright, I'm just going to pause you again while this dries. I'm, I'm not going to take it up this time. I'll, just, I'll really let it dry for real this time. I'm going to add some circles because, I don't know, waiting for it to dry is just taking too long. <laughs> so I'm just going to add stuff. Because why not? Oh, there I go again. Okay, some of it's drying. It gives more places for the alcohol to go through, though. The alcohol. That sounded wrong. But y'all know what I meant. The alcohol ink. That's what. Not just alcohol, but. So, yeah, you know, just randomly add circles with the bottom of your paint. No big deal. And add smaller ones with the bottom of your because who doesn't like circles if you don't like circles I don't know you circles are awesome I like circles all right hopefully that's dry enough so how are y'all doing today I got all I was, I was Last night, I was like, oh, I never made my, or was it this morning, something. I was like, oh, I never made my video, but I'm too tired. And then I remembered I did two videos in one day, and so it was already up, and I don't know what I was worrying about, because that's what I do, I guess. All right. 
Let's hope I can get this across before it totally dries. All right, now what paint should we pick up with? There's the, this is kind of cool. I might go ahead and I'll let it dry a little bit first so that there's like more splotchiness. I've never actually done that. I usually wipe it up right away. So, whoops. Oh, that's cool. I want little. There we go. Oh, I'm trying to put the cover on. I have issues. I did say it's 11 o'clock at night. And I've just been sitting at my desk all day doing my scrappy Saturday and it was only Friday. So if yellow and teal. What's a good color for under yellow and teal? Uh, maybe I'll just do the pale blue. Pale blue is to me a, um, a neutral type color and it's good for picking up and there's some greens that are good too like like the green gray I probably wouldn't use to pick up but a um oh the sea glass would have probably worked there are a lot of greens that can go fairly neutral okay so I don't want this one to dry up because this one is my pickup my pickup one needs to be wet a little bit of pink yellow on there but that's okay better not be attacking my feet little girl I don't know why she's meowing. I assume she wants attention. There are two other people awake in the house. She tried telling them she wants attention. They didn't pay attention. So now she's over here. What are you doing? Oh, how did that get down there? Scooby! Oh, one of my stamps is on. Wait, that stamp was in that box. Now oh, it must have fallen out the box. I got my hair cut. It's like, you know, chin length now. I'll, well, I'm, I saw my Facebook, so if, you're, if you see me on Facebook, you'll see my haircut. But um, I'll change it on YouTube eventually. You know, when I have makeup on. I don't have makeup on in the... Alright, that's cool. I really like that. And I, like, I use the yellow, but it looks more green. Because, you know, then we put the teal on the green. Then we get the blue in the background. And uh, that's alcohol inks for you. Let me, uh, let's get this last. Oh my goodness, she just jumped up on my desk. That's... So here you can see where some of the drips were. There's some old, old paint right there coming off finally. Hallie, Hallie, Hallie. So yeah, so these are the alcohol ink ones. And these. And these two, how will I choose? I don't know, I love them all. So, you know, now you know why I'm willing to uh, possibly ruin my plate with alcohol inks because it's really cool. I think the reason that people recommend not using them is because they can dry it out, but I've, I've not had that problem. So, it's a little sticky right now, but it's sticky when you first get it anyway. Hmm. All right, so that is it for today. Y'all have a delightful day. Love you guys.